Welcome back. So now what we want to do is assemble all the flowers that we've cut out and um, create our um, picture, whether you want to put it on um, a full sheet of paper or if you're wanting to put it more on a, make it into a card and just put it on the front, you can. So when we were looking at the little segment that was on templates, this is one that I have at the end. If you recall those templates, it was the one that had um, the document that had these sheets of how to take a square, fold it in half, draw the image that you wanted, and then you cut it out. When you open it up, you have the entire uh, flower or leaf. These are leaves, but um, this could be used as a petal also. But um, I also, on that document, I will have something that looks like this that is for like a flower pot. pot. So I had created a uh, wet wash that had some browns and I put some other colors in it uh, to give it um, uh, that type of effect. So if you were going to do a card, then you would want to make a smaller version of this pot so that you could put it on here. And then I just uh, use some colored uh, paper, uh, cardstock that is um, kind of variegated. So what you d what I did was I, tr I cut all of the little pieces of green strips. And then what you want to do is assemb start assembling. So and what I want to do is decide where I'm going to place some of them. And it might be that I will kind of tuck this underneath here. And so I can kind of come in here with all the little parts that I've made and try to decide, you know, do I, do I want big leaves? Um, do I want smaller leaves? Are they going to be next to each other? Am I going to come in here and put this one here? Do I want, you know, where do I want to place some of these? Uh, do I want to also put one here? And so what I would like you to do is now that you have created all of your little pieces that you did, we took our templates, and so this is, if you remember, this was a template laid on top of my paper that I colored, and you can decide what you're going to have in there if you choose to make all of them very flat so that they will fit very flat on your paper, you could do that too. If you want to give them a little bit more dimension, then what you want to do is I make a little bit more of a slit right in here and then take your fingers and kind of pinch it so that you crinkle it upwards so it gives it more of a 3D. I did come right in the center and added a little bit more watercolor on top of it. If you wanted to um, give it a little bit more three dimension. You can cut your circle out, make little cuts into it, and then uh, so it's a little bit more raised so that you can add that there. On this one here, I came in and added some more blue on top um, for the center piece. And on this one here, I um, wanted to have more texture, so I um, cut the paper. So what your goal here is to be able to assemble it and then what you're going to want to do is use your glue stick to tack it down. So I would play with the arrangements. If you're not sure if you like it, then take it back off, reposition everything, and don't, you know, and this will be the last thing you want to reposition so that you can have these all tacked down and then set this on top so that you uh, have your alignment. If you're wanting one to look like it's kind of coming off or coming over, or if you're wanting to have part of your leaf uh, hanging off here too, you could also do that. So what your goal is, is to reassemble and glue it down. Because what I would like you to do with this is that you are going to be able to present it to your parents and especially your mother for Mother's Day. And this is your assignment so that um, we can have some beautiful spring flowers and enjoy its beauty this spring. 
and it's a little bit different not having you here in class, but I hope that you will enjoy uh, some of these videos and that you enjoy putting this stuff together, not only learning a little bit about watercolor, but being able to do some assembly. And I think this is a very good, fun project. And I will be talking to you soon.